This video is brought to you by Skillshare. At least it's supposed to be. Look, I can't do this. Look, y'all, I don't want to lie to you guys. You saw the title. You know what this is supposed to be. I'm supposed to talk about why college is bad and ruined my life, but I think I might just end up sounding like a giant hypocrite. All because I actually... Whoa, what's going on? Oh, I'm just explaining how this whole video might be a lie and... No, no one cares about that. Why are you wearing a fursuit? Wait, what's wrong with the fursuit? Well, nothing. Technically, I mean, whatever you're into, I accept you no matter what. No, what? No, no, I'm not a furry. It's This is the theme of the video, like dropping out. So it's going to be the dropout bear from that album, you know, the cause dropout, like Kanye West. You know, Kanye West. Kanye West. Tell Pete my mink dragon on the flow, Kanye West. You wrote uh, uh, wolves. Those sound like things a furry would do. Okay, those are bad examples. Like I. Oh wait, isn't this the guy you said thinks black people wanted to be slaves? This was from a different time. Okay, look, the, the point is, I'm kind of conflicted about this whole video right now because I'm about to make a big life decision that completely contradicts the whole premise. So you dressed like a bear to cope? So you're just not going to say anything helpful today. Okay, that's fine. Look, Kurt, just do what you were going to do originally. I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> I mean, I guess. Uh... Good. Now do your little bear thing or whatever it is. He always acts so weird whenever we get a sponsor. It's the college dropout. It's, it's the college dropout. So no one gets the reference? You know what? F I'm taking it off. No, no one, the YouTubes doesn't get this shit. All right, so first of all, I did it. I completed my four years at college. It was long and grueling, but I finally did it. Yes, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Hold your applause. Hold your applause. No, seriously, hold your applause. I didn't have a good time. See, in college, I think I learned a lot but not necessarily about what I was here to study for. I mean, I learned how to procrastinate, which I think is a pretty good trait. I learned the art of lying to someone directly to their face on why I didn't show up on time. That's a needed one. Oh, and I learned how to make it seem like I tried when in actuality, I didn't at all. Very, very important skills we got here. But I really feel like I didn't have to spend uh, $40,000 to learn three different ways to lie. I don't know. Honestly, I could have worked at McDonald's for two years after high school and probably had gotten the same results. I mean, here, break it off like this. Getting off break, uh, being late to work, uh, barely trying. Plus, I'd get free McDonald's food that tastes much better than college food, which isn't saying a lot. What I'm saying is work at McDonald's instead of going to college. I always wondered to myself if this was worth it, at least for my major, else I'm $40,000 in debt just kind of for fun. I Meaning I just kind of ruined my life to sit in a desk for four years straight. So that kind of leads to the question of the video, did I waste all that time? See, look, I enjoyed my time at college, but the whole thing is kind of a bad idea because it's set up in a way that is really ineffective for actually like colleging learning, doing the things it was made for. And I promise I'm not just saying that because I didn't do well, which is also true, but, but seriously stick with me here. So I'm gonna break this whole thing down with just one phrase. Is this going to be on the test? You know how many times I've asked that to a teacher? Zero, because I hate speaking in class, but I hear it a lot. See, let me take that question and translate it into like actual real student terms. Oh, there it is. Do I need to care about what just came out of your mouth? So I don't give a fuck if it's not on the test. Get that shit on my face. So you made my second semester in college. One of the biggest things I learned was the goal with school isn't to learn. All right, it's the pass. I need an A so I can have a good GPA and continue learning and get a good job and graduate with honors and keep my scholarship and, and all that stuff. And that sentiment was reflected all the time in class, especially with tests. Like, I'm not here to know information that won't be on the test, dog, because what really matters isn't learning new shit. It's passing, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of school, but whatever. And here, quick litmus test to see if this tracks. How much from the class you took last semester or last year have you completely forgotten? Uh, for me, uh, I barely remember what class I took 
last semester. There's so much pressure to pass with deadlines and anxiety that even if I wanted to enjoy my time, I can't. So higher education is higher memorizing right now. But it's fair to argue that I, as a student, can still, you know, try. I guess. I guess we could do that. You know, since I'm paying all this money, I should learn despite how the system is set up, fight the power, you know, shit like that. And you know what? You'd be right. I wouldn't do that, but you'd be right. But there's one problem with that whole philosophy though. And here's an example that I helped drive my point here. One semester, I had to take a class about caves. Caves. Fucking caves. Caves! Fucking caves! Oh shit. On what planet is this a required class? Remember when I said I couldn't remember what class I took last semester? That was a lie. I learned how to do it well because of college. Thank you. I remember that one class, uh, not because it helped, but because of how literally useless it is. <laughs> because guess what? I'm not an archaeology major, dog, because I majored in media production. What am I doing here? <laughs> and I don't know about y'all, but when you pay $2,000 to learn about stalagmites for the eighth time, you start questioning shit. See, a lot of the classes students have to take are pointless. So effort or not, this class you're taking is actually literally for the grade because none of the information you're going to use in the class is going to help you in your field. It doesn't even matter if you like it or not. It's it's not helpful. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if rubies are, are from India. I don't even know if that's right. You don't really Google it. You don't Google it. Rubies have historically been mixed in Thailand. Thailand, Samlet District of Cambodia, Burma, India, India, India. Why do I know that? This is useless information. Oh, uh, so okay, like okay, so maybe as a media major, from a real estate perspective, this would be a good class to take because that's where I'll be living is probably a cave with this course of uh, the life direction I've chosen. But outside of that, I have no idea why it's required. Now, granted, there are a nice handful of classes that are helpful and interesting. Uh, intro to whatever you're studying, yes, please. That's actually good, yes. Uh, public speaking, solid for me as a comm major, that's good, but there are definitely exceptions. Honestly, yo, I'm really paying three grand to scroll on Twitter for an hour. This is the most premium Twitter experience I've ever had. Something I wish is that college was more practical and hands-on, because that's when I think I learned the most, is when I actually did the things, like with my ZTV, which is a school program where we actually physically made videos. We made videos, you know, I, I like that instead of when we, you know, just regurgitated facts. But the thing with that is that that's life. That's how life works. Jay-Z, a rapper who didn't wear a fursuit, when asked why he didn't feel stupid around businessmen is because Yeah, I mean, cause they read a bunch of words. I've lived a bunch of life. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> Bars. I think the reason a lot of people who don't go to college and run businesses get successful is because they went out and they just did it. They went out, they made mistakes and learned from those mistakes and grew. You don't have to go to college to learn and make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. I should have been great at it, honestly. So that's why school's kind of pointless. And I, okay, I can't do this anymore. Ugh. I want to be that YouTuber who tells you not to go to school and chase your dreams despite how stupid school is, but you know, four depressions later, life kind of hits you, you know? At the beginning of the video, I might have alluded that I might be completely contradicting what I just talked about. And, well, I am. Because you see, I did finish my fourth year of college, but I didn't finish college. I'm coming back for another year. Through a series of events, there are a video in itself. My credits came up a little bit short when the fourth year came around, which left me with two options. Option one, I can come back to school, do a fifth year, 15 credits, or I just stop. I end the cycle here and just start my career. And after a lot of thought, I came to a decision to do an extra year. But in reality, I was scared. I was scared to go into the real world without that piece of paper. Despite all the speeches, all the words I've been saying, all the friends who encouraged me not to, I was scared. See, everything I said about college is true. It's not perfect. It doesn't pace well. You, you could probably learn better in the real world. But the issue is that is it's safe. 
because that piece of paper is important to society. Graduates still out earn people with degrees, giving you more job opportunities if you pick the right major. So it's a tough situation. Like college isn't necessarily useless, like depending on what you're getting into. Like if you're a trained medical physician, please go to school all the years. Much appreciated when you stick your hands into my open body, thanks. But for stuff like me, it's really all up for you to decide because there's proof that you don't need it, but there's proof that it helps. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. Your ambition and what you're studying to decide what path to take. So I guess I'm not the college dropout. There isn't necessarily anything wrong with it if you weighed all your options and you're ambitious with what you do. So if you're going to college or not, a great way to learn at your own speed, your own pace, without a teacher judging you to turn in last night's homework is with this video's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators that has over 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. Getting yourself that dope premium membership gives you unlimited access to a ton of knowledge that you can learn at your own pace during your own time and that you can apply hands-on style. Much better than useless college classes they force you to take let me tell you. Not to mention you don't have to take out massive loans like I did with Skillshare because the annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month. Oh God, that's music to my ears. <laughs> Whether you wanna fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning all on your own in 2019. As y'all know, I'm big on editing, which they only had one class for me in school. So the best way to teach myself was online. And y'all can too with Jordy from Cinecon's tutorial on video editing with Premiere Pro. Or if I finally feel like getting rid of Vivi. You won't. But I could with Skillshare. I just need to check out character illustration, drawing faces, figures, and clothes. It's all right here. So hurry up and get a hold of this dope opportunity because only the first 500 people who click my link in the description will get a two month free trial. So you wanna learn how to make videos, learn to write, learn how to create, then just make sure to click that link in the description and head on over to join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare. All right, hurry up, wrap the video up. Why Why this f***ing college experience ruined your life, go. What's up, y'all? Uh, thank you for watching that video. I feel like death right now, but that's pretty usual. Enjoyed that video, I highly suggest checking out the video about TV giving me anxiety. Uh, I always have anxiety, but especially with TV. I know it's a terrible pitch, but I'm really tired. I'm out in New York right now. Yeah! And that's really about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all when I'm less tired. Peace.